Welcome back to Dark Corners Advent Calendar 2018. For our second poster-based Advent countdown, we've chosen a film series with a convenient number of entries. So, kick off your bladed shoes and throw your steel-rimmed hat onto a stand. It's day 11. We've already touched on the problems of talking about the Brosnan era. The posters all look the same. Good girl, bad girl, Bond, bad guy in the background, some stuff. That's the formula. The screens are a nice touch, referring to the film's content, and Michelle Yeoh's dress makes a nice colour contrast. Although I don't think dressing Terry Hatcher to match the screens was a good call. Jonathan Price looks suitably menacing and making him part of his own greyly uniform media suggests insurmountable odds. But the car and bike crashing towards us just looked like an afterthought, hastily pasted in after someone said, isn't this an action film? But that's not the real problem. The real problem is that this isn't a poster that's even trying to be about the film. It's about a marketing strategy. Look at it. Not a hair out of place. None of the rawness of Connery or the humour of Moore. This is a film in which Brosnan motorcycles along a roof, handcuffed to Michelle Yeoh. But there's no room for anything that chaotic on this poster. This is always a bad thing, but in Tomorrow Never Dies, it's worse because the big bad here is media. And when you look at this image, Bond doesn't seem to be the antidote to it. He looks like he's part of it. Thanks for watching. Dark Corners Advent Calendar 2018 will return tomorrow. The best scene in Tomorrow Never Dies is certainly the chase, and there's a fair few chase scenes in Bond. So, which is your favourite? Let us know in the comments below.